Beneath the still, ice-free and warming waters of Cumberland Sound, more fish than ever before. So we'll start loading some turbot from here. A great first catch for Peter Killebuck on his new trawler's maiden voyage. Greenland halibut, known as turbot, are a species local Inuit just began to catch in recent years. Now a longer ice-free season is helping build a commercial fishery where once people fished only for food. We went out to test our lines and also to test new fishing grounds in Cumberland Sound. And I'm glad to say that with the effort of everybody, we did uh, catch qu quite a bit of turbot in a very small amount of time. New machines at Pangnertung's fish processing plant prepare turbot for export to East Asia. Bigger fishing boats catching more fish mean dozens of jobs in a place where most are unemployed or work for the government. It kind of falls really well into a traditional lifestyle. And so if, if uh, people are able to, to, to use some, some skills that they've always had and apply them to uh, a job, then that's something that will probably be a more long-term benefit. Projects like this newly built small craft harbour and this entire fishing pier show that the authorities here are taking the prospect of commercial fishing seriously. But there are those who warn that looking for opportunity in what is essentially a global climate crisis might be premature. Elsewhere in Canada's western Arctic and off Alaska, commercial fishing has been halted until scientists do more research on one of the least understood ecosystems on the planet, the polar seas. I think that's a precautionary approach that's actually enshrined in international law, is when you don't understand a place, you study it before you start exploiting it. And that's what we should do. But Canada has been cutting funding for Arctic research, and many of those who live in this harsh environment want to seize whatever opportunities arise from climate change, even as they confront its challenges. Daniel Lack, Al Jazeera, Pangner Tung.